It's 6 o'clock. I'm Jeff Johnson, and it's minus 7 in the Elk Valley, minus 6 in Cranbrook. News is for Culligan Water Experts Cranbrook, Boston Pizza, and All Seasons Motorsports. Next week, a fundraiser in Fernie will go to support a young girl suffering from a rare disease. Cheyenne Osmond who requires multiple surgeries to help recover from AVM, and Chris Inglis says he's helping organize a dinner and auction January 24th. We're having a spaghetti dinner. Uh, with a live auction, a silent auction, 50-50 draw, and there's also going to be uh, bouncy castles for the kids' entertainment. So it's a good way to get the whole family out a night of fun and teach the kids and family about uh, giving back to the community when somebody needs our help. The event is happening from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Fernie Community Center. If you want to make a donation to the auctions or get more information, you can call Inglis at 250-423-1428. Tickets for the fundraiser can be bought at Stephanie's Glass in Fernie. Cranbrook City Council is holding their first budget meeting this afternoon. In what is also the first ever Cranbrook budget meeting for the brand new council, the financial plan covering the five-year period of 2015 to 2019 will be discussed. Mayor and councillors will convene in the council chambers starting at 4.30, and the public is welcome to attend. Today will be your first chance to sit down for lunch with Kimberly's mayor. Brown bag lunches with Mayor Don McCormick are new to the city of Kimberly on the second Wednesday of every month. Kimberly Kimberly residents will have a chance to come to City Hall at noon and have lunch with the mayor. It's also a chance to make members of City Hall available for residents in case they've got any questions they want to ask about what the city is doing. A similar program was held in the city of Cranbrook by previous mayor Wayne Stetsky. The scuffles broke out early today at kiosks across France over scarce copies of the post-terror attack issue of Charlie Hebdo. The defiant new issue featuring a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad on its cover sold out before dawn around Paris, despite an unprecedented print of... 3 million copies, 1,500 copies will be available in select Canadian cities on Friday. A top commander with Al-Qaeda's branch in Yemen is claiming responsibility for last week's attack on the French satirical newspaper, calling it revenge for its cartoon of the Prophet, which are considered an is insult to Islam. Sports is for all-season motorsports and errands. The Kootenai Ice will open a three-game road trip tonight in Moose Jaw. The season series is tied 1-1 with the home team winning each game. The Ice have lost their last three games and are five points ahead of the Warriors. You can listen for the pregame show at 5.30 on the drive. The Kimberly Dynamires ran their winning streak to four, beating the Creston Valley Thundercats 3-1 at the Civic Center last night. Goalie Brody Nelson made his Dynamires debut, and 47 seconds in, he gave up a goal on the first shot he faced and was unbeatable after that. Nelson says he would have liked to have a better start, but overall, it was a good debut with Kimberly. Uh, it was definitely a good experience. Didn't start off the way I wanted it to, but then everything after that just rolled on, and it was a good experience and good start to Sawyer Hunt, Jason Richter, and James Jousey scored the Dynamiters' goals. Meanwhile, the Fernie Ghost Riders lost to the Columbia Valley Rockies last night. Score of that game was 5-3. And a quick look at the NHL last night. Four Canadian teams in action. Vancouver lost 5-1 to Nashville. St. Louis doubled up on Edmonton 4-2. Winnipeg overwhelmed Florida in an 8-2 victory. And Dallas edged past the Ottawa Senators 5-4. The drive weather's for great Canadian oil change. They'll change your rad fluid for any vehicle. Make sure it's winter ready. Visit them on the strip next to Custom Car and Sound. Today, cloudy with a chance of flurries in the Elk Valley. High of minus 4. Overnight, cloudy. Low minus 7. Thursday, chance of flurries again. And the rest of the week, cloudy. Highs around minus 1. Right now, it's minus 6 in the Elk Valley. Minus 7 in Cranbrook. I'm Jeff Johnson. It's 6.05. We've completely hit refresh on our website. Check out our new digital 